Welcome to the channel, folks. This is Josh from Benefish, and I am a registered New Hampshire guide, and I specialize in lake trout, lake trout jigging all through the year. So today we're gonna go out. I found a new spot, and I'm very close to town here, which is awesome. I spent no gas money. We're gonna jig up some lake trout real quick, and I want you guys to come out and fish with me. I got one coming up right now. Oh, he changed his mind. He's a bigger one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. There's another one right there. You guys can come out and do this. Have a blast. It's super, super fun. It's a lot more fun with two people. That's number 19 for the day. And all the gear is provided, of course. Come out and fish with me. Now we can host up to two people in this boat. It does get a little tight, but I won't be fishing. I'll be directing you folks. Here's another one right here. Yeah, I got another one. They just are fired up today. This little bit of salmon chop here is really good. I haven't seen that many salmon today. Actually at all. There's number 20. Another one going right back in. And we just yeet them right over the side of the boat. There's no reason to have them holding them too long in the boat. Uh, they are extremely slippery and they're more prone to hit the, back, hit the deck, basically. And yes, you can take up to two home or one of each species. And lake trout are pretty good on the smoker. I smoked one last year that was pretty decent. But when I'm guiding, I'll have uh, sonar right here and live scope set up are here and I can have two people one on each side jigging on each side of the boat we got two of them poking around down there come on and right now there's one two three four lake trout on the screen and this is a super super active spot probably the most active spot I've ever fished I mean this is probably Probably the best solo day I've had on Lake Winnipesaukee. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I filmed the how-to video this morning on how I found this spot and why I stopped here, actually. So that's part of that 20 number. Got another Laker coming in right now. Actually, probably two Lakers. I don't want to miss my opportunity, and I don't want to show them the bait too much. So we're playing a cat and mouse game here. Oh, it's chilly today. It's supposed to be nice and warm today, and it just turned out not to be warm. So, you run out of real estate when you're running towards the surface there. So, you only, your only choice is to slow down. 45 feet is kind of a really good depth. Get to see quite a bit down there. Come on. Got it. Oh, got him. Show the camera real quick. Another beauty. So today we're using my baits. And when I fish, I almost always use my baits except for spoons and I'm working on a custom spoon. I just haven't found what I really, really want yet. I want to do something slightly different than everybody else just because what everybody else does doesn't always work. So I want to have something that's dialed in just to me. This one's, uh, see how he's just kind of like nonchalantly rolled there? What we're going to do is we're going to bring him to the bottom and see if he wants to eat it out of the mud. And these are things that I will coach you when you come out. So, and all of this applies during ice fishing as well. Same technique, same everything. The only thing that's really different during ice fishing is I fish shallower. Or I tend to fish kind of shallower. Here comes another one at 15 feet away. Now he's at 10. Oh, his buddy's right there. I want him, not his buddy. Come on. No, neither one of them went. That's unfortunate. Oh, 
loaded my rod right up. He hit it the second time. Oh, third time. Fourth time. Come on. If it was sunny out, I could see this fish. That's how high up he is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Got a whole bunch of them in front of me. Whole bunch. So see how that Laker's kind of going up and swirling around there um, in the back half of my screen there, the left-hand side? What he's doing is eating bugs. He's eating larvae or a nymph stage of probably a stonefly, if I was to guess. That's what they were throwing up a couple weeks ago. And it's really annoying because you have to downsize to try to match something similar to that or just have a really hungry lake trout that will eat that and whatever else comes in front of their face, which is what I've been doing today and it's been very successful. Got one coming up here. Re popped off! No! One more and then we'll go home. I'll cut in a bunch of other ones, kind of do a little montage of just slamming them. All right, I'm calling it a 21 fish. That's my best day ever on Lake Winnipesaukee solo. We've, I've done 39 between two of us before, and that was in the fall, and I don't know who, what the split was of whether it was 50-50 or not, but that's still just one better than the best day I've ever had. If you guys wanna see more lake trout content, either click here or click here, and I'll see you in one of those videos. And if you wanna support the channel, visit bennettfish.com for baits, like you've been seeing in the video, or click down below for the link for the guide service. See you there.